Yo, what's up guys? Hold me Hector here again. So check it out. Today we actually have a diagnostic video. Might turn out to be a repair if we get to it today. So behind me I got a 2005 Honda Accord with a 2.4 liter engine and it has a couple issues. But what we're gonna take care of today is that it doesn't have any reverse lights. You throw it in reverse and you get no lights, right? So where do you start when you have an issue like this? There's many different ways you can diagnose a problem like this. There's not just one way to do this. The way I like to do it, first things first, I get a wiring diagram. I learn how the system works. I figure out how the grounds and the powers flow through the circuit. I figure out what causes the lights to turn on or whatever it is, whatever the, uh, the load is. And then from there, I start attacking from different directions. Right? So the way I like to do it is I start off with a wiring diagram, I study it, I learn it, and then from there I decide where I take it. So let's go see a wiring diagram. Alright, so here we have a complete wiring diagram. Let's run through it real quick so you guys can understand it. So up at the top we have a uh, Fuse 21, uh, 7.5 amps. This powers up this MICU right here. Uh, I believe that's just a module that's probably integrated into the under dash fuse relay box behind the left kick panel. All right, we have that. We have the reverse switch here, your PRND. This is where uh, once you put it in reverse, this ground right here is gonna travel through this uh, transmission range switch, which is your neutral safety switch. The ground goes through it and it's gonna go up to this MICU. Once this MICU gets this ground, then it's gonna send a power down this wire because you have a you have the left backup light here you have the right backup light and these are grounded inside the trunk so each light has its own ground it just needs power once this power is being sent out from this MICU then these lights are gonna light up okay pretty basic fuse switch and the load right that's how the system works uh, so we can start at the fuse and check that we can go to the lights, throw it in reverse, and check for power here. And then we'll decide if we go here or if we go here. So let's go to the car and do that. Key on. I'm gonna put the parking brake on, throw it in reverse, and we're gonna go check the lights. No backup lights. No backup lights. Alright, so where do we go from here? We can check power to the light right now, but I know a lot of you guys are going to be like, check the fuse. Alright, so I got the fuse box right here. Um, we're looking at fuse 21 with 7.5 amps. You can see my test light lighting up. Okay, so we have a good ground. Now I got to find fuse 21, right? Alright, so this is actually numbered for us, so that's a good thing. I just got to find it. Let me see. This is 23, 24, 25, 30. This is 1. Okay, so fuse 21 is this one. Now you can see that it's sliding up. Alright, so for all you guys that are saying check the fuse, we check the fuse, the fuse is good, right? So what do we do now? Now I'm going to go to the back and I'm going to check to see if there's power getting to the lights. If there's power getting to the lights, then obviously we have bat lights. We have bat light bulbs, right? So we're gonna go to the trunk, open it up, and see if we have any power getting to our lights. Okay, so this is our connector right here for the backup lights. Can you see that? I think that's better. Okay, so I know this is it because it has a black and a green wire. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna back probe the green wire. That green wire should have power right now because I have the car in reverse and I got nothing now you always want to make sure that you have a good ground on your test light so uh, what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna back probe this red wire this red wire is actually for the tail lights so let me turn on the tail lights to make sure I have a good ground okay so my tail lights are on if I back probe my test light turns on can you see that okay so I have a good ground uh, but I'm not getting any power at my backup lights. Alright, so my backup light right here is not getting any power. So, now we gotta backtrack. We gotta go back down, follow this green wire, and start testing backwards. Alright, so let's recap what we just tested. So we came over here to the lights, we checked for power on this green wire, 
we had no power, right? This power comes from the MICU. Once the MICU says, okay, I have power coming in from the ignition, from this fuse. I have a ground coming through the Prindle switch. Now I can send power out to the backup lights. We don't have this power. So now we come over here to the MICU. If we have power here, then we know that the problem is in the wiring here. If we don't have power here, then we know that we got to trace back this way. So we then we check pin 20, see if we have this ground that's supposed to travel through here. If we don't have a ground here, then we work our way back to the switch. We go to the switch, check ground here. If not, then we know we have a bad switch. So right now we have a good fuse and we have no power at the lights. So now we go back to the MICU. We got to find this chingadera and then start testing here at pin 22, pin 20, and pin 20. All right, guys, so this is where we're at, back down at the MICU. The MICU is integrated into the fuse box. So I connected my test type back to ground. Just to show you guys that it's good, just to show you guys that I do have a good ground. Now, the MICU is this connector over here. Now, I don't know if you guys can see, but I see a wire here, and it is a white wire. Let me see if I can zoom you into that. This right here, this is a white wire and it's broken but the funny thing is that this white wire is pin 25 now you can actually my test light is connected to the ground and you can actually hear this clicking when I touch it that's because I'm sending ground through my test light and I'm powering this up now I want to see what happens when I connect this wire back to where it's supposed to, the way it's supposed to be. I think that's connected. The car's in reverse, and check this out guys. All right, I have the car in reverse, and check it out. We got backup lights. All right, all right. So there you have it. This does not need an MICU. This wire just needs to be repaired. Now you can see that somebody's been in here and they've been doing a lot of, uh, I don't want to say Mickey Mouse, but they've been doing a lot of aftermarket wiring. They probably installed a sound system or some kind of alarm system. And uh, so you already know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna disconnect this connector. I'm gonna pull this little piece of wire, the one that's still stuck on the connector, I'm gonna pull it out and then I'm gonna connect it. I'm gonna solder it to this one and then I'm gonna just reinsert it in there. This wire right here, it's about to come loose, so, and I think this is for the starting circuit, so I'm actually gonna fix that. I, I've said it before, guys, don't use these butt connectors. If you're gonna use these, use them properly, because this leads to this. Luckily, this was only a backup circuit. People can live without the backup lights, but hey, it is what it is. You guys got to, uh, you guys gotta do shit right if you're gonna be working on electrical. Another car that's fixed without changing any part. 2005 Honda Accord, no backup lights. All that we need to do is now just fix the wire. Now I'm gonna show you guys how I fix it. You guys can watch my other videos. I've done some wiring repairs before. All I'm gonna do is take the connector out of there, solder it, push it back in there, and we should be good to go. Now I'm also gonna take care of all the other wires that are just hanging there and that are, are butt connected. That's not the way I like to do things. I want to do things properly and I don't want this car coming back. So that's it guys. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button right here on the bottom right of your screen. And don't forget to hit the little notification bell so that you guys know when I drop a new video. Drop a comment below, tell me what you guys think. Let me know what else you guys want to see and I'll try to make that video happen. Don't forget to like the video, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one.